In this video, I'll show you how to use camera binding in Blender so that you can switch your camera angles during an animation. So I just have this simple animation of a monkey head that I'll be using for an example. So first I'll add a camera, so I'll just go to the add menu, I'll just add a camera, and I'll hit Control alt numpad 0 to bring the camera to where I want, and I can just move the camera right here. Now let's say at frame 100, I want the camera angle to switch. So what I'm going to do is go to frame 99, which is one frame before frame 100. I'm now going to hit Shift D to duplicate the camera and I'll just move it here and then I'm going to hit control zero and control zero is going to make this the active camera because I had it selected and how you know it's the active camera is because the triangle is black so whatever camera you select if you hit control zero that'll make it the active camera so we want to select the new camera hit control zero and now I can rotate this camera and move it around so now that I've placed the second camera I want frame 99 to be this camera and then at frame 100 I want to switch to this camera so I'll select the first camera and I'll hit control Control zero, which will make this the active camera. I'm now going to hover my mouse in the timeline and I'm going to hit the M key and that's going to add this little arrow here which is called a marker and you can click on the marker and drag it around but I'm going to leave it at frame 99. So I now want to bind this camera to the marker that we've added. So I need to click and drag and make sure that the timeline is right there on the same frame and then also make sure that the active camera is selected. I'm now going to click here to make sure that that marker is selected and I'm now going to press Control B and so that is going to add this little camera camera icon here and so now if I click and drag the marker around this camera is now bound to that marker. So now what I'm going to do is go to frame 100 and I now want to select the other camera and I can press control zero to make it the active camera. So with this camera selected now I'm going to hover my mouse here in the timeline and I'm going to press M and that's going to add another marker on frame 100 because we're on frame 100 and then again press control B and that is going to bind the new camera to this marker. So if I click and drag to bring this over you can see this one is called camera but then this one is camera 001 because this one here this is called camera but this is camera 001. So now if I just play the animation you can see when it gets to frame 100 it switches to a different view. So I'll just show you how to do that one more time with another camera. So let's just go to frame 150 and I want to now duplicate this and add one more camera and then bind that camera. So I'm just going to hit Shift D to duplicate. We'll put this here. I can press Control 0 to make this the active camera and then I can just move wherever I want like let's do a downwards view looking up and then again I'll press Control Alt Numpad 0 to bring the camera to where I am. So then with this camera selected this is the active camera. I'll hover my mouse in the timeline and this is at 150 so I'll press M to add a marker and then I can press Control B to bind the camera. Now now if I go before frame 150 it's using the second camera but if I go after 150 it's now using the third camera. So if I just play the animation we have the first camera the second camera and the third camera. And then of course you can animate the cameras if you want to. So for example, I might move this camera back here. I'll just hit the K button and I'll insert location rotation scale. And then if I just move here along the timeline, I could move the camera in there like that and then hit K and I'll add location rotation scale. So you can see now the camera switches and this camera is moving in. So that's how you can use camera binding to switch your camera angles during an animation. And if you'd like to learn more Blender quick tips, you can check check out my Blender Quick Tips tutorial playlist linked in the description. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.